Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. So this is part two of the backlinking video that I had one month ago and this was the video where I actually bought some backlinks and showed you the results. For those who are wondering, I'm still retaining the rankings, so nothing happened to my website. But I do realize that some people want everything for free. And there is a pretty cool way of attracting backlinks that I'm about to show you. Before we begin, uh, let me tell you what I'm talking about. So if you go to my nichescout.pro website, I have a handful of tools. So I have the niche medium quiz, for example, where you can just answer a few questions and get your niche. Then I have the niches directory, which is a passion project of mine, uh, basically a library of hand-picked niches. So if you go from here to any of these niches, you get a dedicated blog post talking about the niche, pros and cons, uh, keywords, etc. And my latest edition is the Niche Generator. And Niche Generator is basically 301 non-YMYL niches. And it works like this. You just press randomize and you get a suggested niche. Uh, so this one is Mandela Stone Painting. And for each niche, you get the, an overview, advantages and strategy behind it. So if you press randomize again, sound design, Classic puppet show reviews, natural dye fabric art, light box art, experimental poetry. And this has started attracting backlinks. So if we go to a traps to my backlinking profile, you see that I got a, a DR65 backlink for Nietzsche's direct directory, a 59 DR backlink for Nietzsche's directory again, and a 49 DR for Niche Generator. 43 niche generator, 24 niche generator. So basically these things do work. So this site here is already at uh, around 4,000 page views. And this niche generator thingy is I think number seven or eight among the top performing pages. So this stuff does work. And today I'll be showing you how to build another one of the tools. I'll just show you a couple of websites, uh, pretty cool websites. So the first one is called getrandomthings.com and if you think uh, that uh, these things are silly uh, you'll be amazed because these sites get a lot of traffic so getrandomthings.com uh, is a smaller site but still gets uh, more than 14,000 uh, sessions or page views and a bigger website in this niche which is called random lists is actually attracting almost half a million of traffic. So this is enormous and there is a lot of opportunity here. And I was actually going through uh, these websites to find a lucrative niche when I came across this one here, which is a random college university generator. So the reason I like this keyword uh, college generator is twofold. First, it's low competition random college generator. So it's low competition, it's pretty high volume and it's high CPC. So this uh, page alone is capable of uh, generating some ad revenue for you. So let's look at uh, what this uh, is. So basically this is very simple. You have this button here, generates, let's just pick five. And this tool generates your list of universities and colleges. And there is nothing, there, is, there are no links, no descriptions. So I'm pretty sure we can do one better. And I'll be doing one without the images because it's gonna take a little bit more time. And I just wanted to show you what is possible. So let's, let's close everything here. And I've already done the work. So this is what I did. I went to Code Interpreter. And so hang on. I started with a very simple prompt, list 50 best colleges and universities in the USA, in the US, and express as a three column table, name, city, short description, under 20 words. And this is what I got. Harvard, which is located in Cambridge, Stanford, Stanford, uh, California Institute of Technology, Pasadena. And this is a very short description and you can make it longer or as long as you want to really. 
Then I thought I needed a URL because the previous example lacked the URL. So this is what I got in return. So I checked all of them. And since these are very established universities, the links are correct and since they are part of the training base. So this is essentially the database that I'll be building my quiz around. So the next prompt was, can you come up with five high school graduate spe specializations like arts, drama, sports, etc. and rank each of the above uh, universities accordingly. So not only did I want to include links and descriptions, I wanted to give students a choice uh, depending on their natural inclinations. I wanted to give them opportunity to uh, choose a university based off of that. Sure, I will rank the universities based on five high school graduate specializations, which are arts, drama, sports, science, business, and humanities. The ranking will be subjective, blah, 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 and uh, those 20 universities uh, above in the table were ranked accordingly. So for arts and drama, Yale is number one, for sports, Stanford, for science, Massachusetts, MIT, and for business, University of Pennsylvania, and so on and so forth. Okay, so what I did next, okay, now based on the above, create an HTML quiz with inline CSS and Java called College Generator that lets the user first pick one of one of five specializations and then get a respective list of relevant colleges together with a name description link. And this is what I got back. So I'm checking everything with Code Beautifier, which is a free tool. So, okay. Now it's working somewhat, so it's showing me one university per specialization, uh, although it includes the link and the a short description. So we are halfway there. And so what I said was, no, there should be five colleges under each, each specialization as per the ranked list. Got it, apologies, blah, blah, blah. And I got back this. So now this correctly uh, displays five universities per each of the specializations. And now all we have to do is to go to WordPress, create a new page. So random college university generator. Then use custom HTML preview. Okay, and what we can do also is go to ChatGPT once again and say write an engaging description for the quiz using good natured humor and emojis. In this very really short description, you can make it um, longer, but still, so, so, and this is it. This is our description. This is our quiz. You can improve the description, but uh, this is capable of attracting some backlinks and traffic. And go check those two websites that I mentioned out. They uh, are a very good resource for additional ideas. Hope this was helpful. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.